Speaking of help, somebody call 911 because I'm tired of reading stories to y'all about Trey. Now, listen, before the new year started, I told y'all about the basketball player, Dylan, right? I told y'all about her and how she said that Trigger Trey was an artist, okay? And, and that, that wasn't a surprise because we've all heard various women have allegations against Trey Songs and nothing has happened. OK, we also saw Trey Songz thang thangin'. Why is it that all you niggas with these things thangin' like the force y'all thang thangin's on people? They got bitches out here that's really, you know, to, to sip from the fountain of your, your you know, your nutsack out here. And y'all out here snatching because y'all need to go to therapy and work on y'all issues. Every woman don't want you just because you famous. Every woman don't want you just because you Trey songs. Every woman don't want you because you got a big dick. Every woman don't want you. You ain't every bitch vibe. It don't matter who you are. You are not every bitch vibe. But every sexy fine man out there that 90% uh, that of the women want to fuck, there's a 10% that find them disgusting. And so I'm really going to need for you niggas to understand that everybody don't want y'all. So when somebody doesn't want you, I'm going to need for you to respect that and not force yourself on them. OK, but let me go ahead and read to y'all what the young lady Dylan said about the situation, because at first she only gave us a little bit. She said he did something to her and she was going to be back next year. Well, now she's releasing an actual statement. And this is what it says. <clears throat> Hold up make sure okay with what seems like endlessly reoccurring news of the alleged sexual assaults committed by trey songs i am forced to repeatedly relive in my mind and suffer anew the long suppressed horror and unbearable ptsd of my r by his very hands at a well-known las vegas hotel i want to send my love strength and hope to all who are victims of sexual assault and its fatal nature you are not alone. I stand with you and encourage all those who have suffered abuse to speak out and come forward. Suppression of our voices only emboldens our oppressors and you cannot heal what you do not reveal. At this time, I humbly request my privacy, consideration and compassion while I fully commit to pursue the best course of action in all of my legal options. Gracias, mi gente. Dill. OK, because y'all know Dylan is a Dylan Gonzalez. OK. Um, and she also said y'all can hit up her attorney if y'all have any inquiries. Now, originally, she just called him an artist and said, Lord, forgive me. I couldn't hold that in another year. See you in 2022. That was the original tweet. So I'm going to just go ahead and say I believe the girl. Thank you so much, M. Sandoval, for the super sticker. I believe her because I feel like Trey Songz is out here convinced that because he's who he is, women can't tell him no. So when women do tell him no, he doesn't know how to receive that. These are all allegations, but you know why? Because I feel like they, they really do feel like when they're in Vegas that they can have whatever they want to have. They can do whatever they want to do. And then people just got to go along with it. And if you don't want to go along with it, then it's going to be a situation. That's what it feels like to me. Y'all got to, <laughs> somebody got to do something. And I'm going to tell you, I think it was very brave of her to say something. And I... I hope that if there are other women out there that he has done this to, that they speak up because this needs to stop. This needs to stop. I am tired. Him and Soldier Boy repeatedly are in the news for doing things to women and the shit gets just glazed over. Glazed over, swept under a rug, moved on to the next fucking topic, moved on to the next story. Everybody acts like it's not happening until the next woman. So I really need for more women who he has done this to, and I feel like, you know, it's kind of fucked up to say this, but I really do feel like more people need to say what's going on because we've heard way too many of these like little inklings here and there for it to just be talk at this point. Unpopular opinion, he's not that attractive given his behavior and demeanor with women. Exactly, exactly. I, I, I'm very off energy, y'all. So I don't care how fine a man is. If you don't have good energy, if your energy is fucked up, then I don't see it for you. And I feel like there are women out there who feel the same way I do. And they get into run-ins with these men who they think may be nice. And as soon as they figure out these men are assholes and don't want to do everything these men want to do, they can't take no for an answer. And they feel like they'll get away with it because of who they are and they've gotten away with it before. And it's unfortunate. It was cringy when he did that to Meg the Stallion. <sighs> child was it what he did to Meg the stallion i don't like what he did to uh kiki palmer is what comes to my mind uh first trey aka mr steal your box 
Okay, it's women who have things to lose calling him out. I fully believe them. I think so too. I believe her. I've been following her and her twin for a minute. They id girls, but they try to stay out the way. They id girls, but they used to play for a college basketball team. So it wasn't always just an id girl. Um, I believe, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of us feel like this is starting to be a pattern. Starting to be a pattern, okay? Um, and we all know he looked up to Robert. I don't care what he says. You looked up to Robert because you sound like Robert when you sing. So we know you listen to Robert's music growing up, okay? Not to say that everybody that likes Robert's music will turn out like Trey Songs, but it is absolutely a similarity there. He was coercing Meg to continue drinking, drinking despite her being intoxicated. Oh, I don't like that. Guess he got to build up bodies before anyone takes his charges seriously. Fucked up. Allegedly, he was messing with this dude named Brandon Hines before he came out years ago. Really? You haven't seen Meg hang with him since then. It's giving our R. Kelly vibe. Somebody in his camp needs to speak up. Can't tell me they don't see it. No, they see it. They absolutely see it. They have to. 